Welcome back to Opinion Journal Live. My next guest is American Enterprise Institute fellow Ed Pinto, who joins me to talk about another silver bullet that is supposed to, quote unquote, solve the nation's housing crisis. Ed joins me by Skype. Ed, welcome. Thank you, Mary. Ed, I've heard a lot of bad ideas of how to solve this nation's ongoing housing crisis, but this has to qualify as one of the worst. Uh, for viewers out there who aren't following it, who is Mortgage Resolution Partners and what are they proposing to do? Uh, Mortgage Resolution Partners is a, a private company that's come up with an idea to use uh, uh, eminent domain through uh, municipalities in California and elsewhere, but starting in California, to uh, condemn through eminent domain uh, mortgages that are underwater and then turn around, uh, um, condemn them at a lower price than the, the face value, turn around, uh, reduce the mortgage uh, on the individual that owns the house and is living in it and uh, give them the lower mortgage and then repackage these mortgages to new investors. And of um, course, they would I, get a fee for doing this. So it, Ed, this sounds to me like public taking for private gain, the ultimate in cronyism. Uh, am I wrong? Well, I think there's a, a lot of that. There's a lot of fees built into this. Uh, when I reviewed it, it looks like the, the municipality makes some money on it. Uh, uh, the group makes money on it. Uh, yet somehow the borrower gets this uh, miraculously low uh, mortgage, 85% uh, of the current market value. I don't think the numbers work. Ed, uh, beyond and, and the, the numbers, reason though, is, Ed, beyond is the that numbers. they're cherry picking the best by their own design. They're cherry picking the best mortgages. They have to be current mortgages. Now, agreed, these are underwater mortgages, but they've been paying for five or six years, and those mortgages have uh, a probability that they're going to pay off at face value. That's probably 50 percent for these very, you know, really bad mortgages. Uh, the losses on these mortgages might all then be 50 percent. You're looking at a 25 percent loss. This, this this structure is based on having a 40 percent loss. The difference, I don't think, can be made up. So you either have to um, get the mortgages at below market value, which they say they're not going to do, or it doesn't work financially, in which case it just doesn't work. So I don't see how this works from a, either a fairness or a financial uh, perspective, fairness to the investor or a financial perspective. It is just another, as you say, bad idea and, a, and somewhat of a long list uh, of ideas and will probably result in putting another nail in the coffin of private investors ever coming back in the next you know, 10 or 12 years into the uh, private mortgage-backed securities market because they'll have no idea what their risks are, particularly in order to have any private mortgage-backed security market work, you have to have people taking the first risk. This basically says you don't know where you are because all of a sudden the government can cherry pick and pull, pull you out of where you thought you were and put all the losses on you. Well, and let's be really clear about this. So what Mortgage Resolution Partners is proposing to do is to use government power to set a price uh, to take mortgages out of private investors' hands uh, and to use the power of eminent domain to use this. So the loser here is the, is the private investor and also the sanctity of private contracts. Ed, you mentioned what this would do to the private mortgage market, uh, but what we haven't talked about is what will, what will fix the housing crisis. If this doesn't fix it, what do we need to let happen? Uh, I, I've been saying for some time we need uh, three things. One is uh, we need to let the market find a bottom where in, in, in the places where that has happened the most, like Arizona, parts of California, believe it or not, uh, and uh, Virginia and some other states, that the markets are stronger. Where it hasn't happened, Florida and Maryland and some other places, the markets are, are still weak and uh, the market hasn't bottomed. 